Okay, geometry, unit I, so this is I1, identify hypotheses and conclusions. No, this isn't English. No, it's not science, but it's kind of science related. You kind of need to know how to deduct and infer which one, which possibilities could happen and couldn't happen. So that's basically what this is. So the good thing about IXL on these lessons is if you had a textbook, and I gave you this to you as homework, you would be writing out every single sentence and basically dissecting it. But thankfully in IXL, it's basically just multiple choice. So you just have to be able to make the good choice. Okay, now we are going to be using if-then statements. If-then statements. And um, what that is, if you have an if, or if you have a then, it's called a conditional statement. All right? So whenever it says what's the hypothesis for the conditional, you're kind of just looking for the word if, or the word then, if it says for the conclusion part. And maybe sometimes it doesn't give you those but it gives you other things. So just a second, I'm gonna look for something. Nope. So let me go back here. Okay. All right. I do not have a pause on this. Well, I'll get you started and then I'm gonna to have to make a second part for this video. Okay, so here we are, we're going to go back to home, we're going back to draw, okay. So, what is the hypothesis? The hypothesis is the part that usually comes after the word if. Here is the word if. So what comes after the word if? Right triangle has sides lengths of three and four. So that's the hypothesis, so that's what you're going to be picking. What is the conclusion? The conclusion always comes after the word then, or usually comes after the word then. So we're going to do that. If Vera drops the vase, then it breaks. The conclusion basically says what happens if something else happens. So it breaks. Uh, the vase breaks. So basically you have to determine what parts will come on or what parts will have to happen first before something else will have to happen. And I'm about to have another class come in, so let me see. Yep, I'm going to pause here and make another video to go with this since I've already got three minutes in and um, be able to give you some more pointers. Stay tuned.